Hello and welcome to Hitch Up and Toe. Uh, today's video is going to be a little bit different. Hi, right. firstly I'd like to say sorry because I haven't released many videos lately. Now, some of you might think that's a good thing. Um, hopefully you don't, but there you go. Uh, the reason for it is um, I've been a little bit under the weather. I haven't been in a great place, you might say, um, and had to make an appointment with a doctor. And that appointment is why I'm making this video now. Uh, I had a few pains um, in my hips, basically, and on the upper leg. So I made a fight with the doctor, uh, went along and it came out that I had a few more symptoms um, which all led to one thing, prostate problems. Now I'm not going to mention the C word because that wasn't mentioned at the time, it was just prostate problems and I suppose a lot of people know what the exam is or think you know what the exam is and I wasn't looking forward to that didn't know if I really wanted it so I went home to think about it and to do what a lot of people do Google and when you start googling uh, prostate cancer or prostate problems and you see 47,000 people or men should I say a year in the UK diagnosed with it and over 10,000 men a year die of it, you start to think, I've got dependents who rely on me, I need, I need this sorted, I need to go. Um, now I was having a telephone consultation on the Tuesday with the doctor about uh, a different issue, well, di diabetes, um, the yearly thing, you know, check up, see your medicine, that sort of thing. And so I thought, well, on the Tuesday, I mentioned it that I think I sh need to go ahead with this. Not that I want to, but I think I need to. So on the Tuesday, I mentioned it. And he said, well, we need to um, book you in for a PSA test, which, if I remember rightly, is prostate specific antigen test. Uh, and then we'll book you in for the examination. Now I don't know what your GP says was like, what hours you normally phone up and it takes two weeks to get an appointment with my doctor. This is the Tuesday, my blood test was booked for the Thursday and the exam was booked for the Friday of the same week. That sort of gives you a bit of um, worry as well. Why, why is it that quick, you know, seem to be that urgent to get it done. So um, I went in on Thursday, had the blood test, and was told that the results for the blood test would be my, with my doctor the following day. Again, very quick. Um, but, alright. Almost felt like you're on a roller coaster ride. It just swept you away with it. It was really quick. Um, the following day, I went in and uh, saw the doctor. Now, before we get into too much specifics, I'm not going to go too far, but some of the symptoms um, you can get with this and if you have any of this please go and see your doctor um, especially if you're like over 50 sort of my sort of age a bit, not, a bit older go and see your doctor one is um, urination problems if you're going a lot during the night or if you're having problems urinating or stopping starting midstream Go and see your doctor. Hip pains like me and upper leg pains, you know, that's another symptom. Uh, blood in the urine, another symptom. Um, now, this isn't a medical video, I, I, I'm not going through, you know, don't rely on this as a medical video. But if you've got any of these symptoms, um, see your doctor. Um, sexual problems that can be caused with um, prostate. It doesn't, you know, all it takes is a phone call. Go and see, go and see your doctor and let them sort it out and see if you have or not. Don't rely on D Google or whatever, you know. I went, I went home and Googled everything I could find on it and, it's, you know, it does put you off. Um, but, yeah, speak to your doctor. 
get it, get it checked out. It is important. It's a very dangerous illness. As I said, over 10,000 men a year die in this country of it. And probably half of them don't even know they had it. So get it checked out. The exam itself isn't that bad. You know, we all think, well, no, I don't want that. But the doctors have done it so many times before. They know exactly what they're doing. Um, and they put you at ease. They tell you what to do. You just go in there. They put a curtain around the table, bed, whatever you call it, um, examination bed. Tell you that they go, go on the bed, on your side, pull your trousers and underwear down to your knees, knees up as high as you can. When you're ready, give them a call, they come in. Comes in, tells you exactly what he's going to do, does it, out, gives you some paper to clean yourself up, you come out and that's it. Done. It'll show you the results there and then. And it isn't that bad. The worst thing is the idea of having the exam done. Um, but once the exam's done, it's done. It's sorted. And I was told there and then that I'm clear. Biggest relief of my life. Well, one of the biggest reliefs, should I say. I was very worried at the time. Um, but, yeah. If it was, it, well, if I had something uh, wrong with the prostate, then we could have taken it further. I think you need to go for an MRI test and sort of things. I was lucky. I am clear, but I'm glad I had it done. And I suggest anyone out there who has any of these symptoms, get it checked out. Thanks for watching. Bye.